I'm Andy Hamlin. I experiment with booze. This is Booze Hacks. Well, I'm going to make my own summer cup now. You don't have to make a whole load in one time. You don't just have to make big batches of it, although you can. And I'm going to show you how to make it in one glass. I'm going to show you how to make just one drink of summer cup or pins it gets called as well. So this is pins number one. Very easy drink to make. Now just follow these exact instructions but scale up if you want to make a litre. Uh, or if you're in the States, two pints, a quart, half a quart, whatever, you know, just, just use these measurements and scale up. Okay, so I'm going to go in parts and these parts can be anything from you know, 30 ml as one part or two ounces or whatever as one part or you know, two gallons as one part, it's up to you depending on how much you want to make. Right, so I'm going to start off with some dry gin. So any dry gin will work very well. And I'm doing two parts dry gin, which is roughly that much gin. And then just under two parts. So if I was going to do it, you know, if I'm going to make a bigger batch, this would be roughly 250 ml of this to about 300 ml of the gin. So this is homemade red vermouth, homemade sweet vermouth, but you can use shop-bought vermouth. In fact, let's see what I've got here. Something like this would be, that would work quite well. Uh, cocky American, uh, cocky vermouth Torino, that's fine. Or, you know, punt de mez or something like that. Um, there we go. So that is, by I. <laughs> Uh, is just about two parts, just under two parts. And then some Cointreau or any triple sec will do. So just a bit of triple sec, so orange liqueur. Now I will be showing at some point how to make your own Cointreau. Very easy, it's a brandy based drink so I'll show you how to make that as well. Uh, yeah, right, so just one part of that, which is about that much. And then it needs a little touch of bitterness. So, a bit of Angostura's bitter does the job. You can use your own, own bitters, your own homemade bitters, and I guess that can be another video too. There we go. It's supposed to be one drop, but two went in, not to worry. So, I'll grab my trusty chopstick. Chopsticks are brilliant. Chopsticks are brilliant for cocktail stirrers. Why? invest in an expensive cocktail spoon when you can just pick these up every time you go to the Chinese. Here we go. Good old stir around. And then of course, right now it needs some fruit, but obviously ice first. So a couple of bits of ice. Now normally, normally I top up with lemonade and that's exactly what you should do. But it be in the winter, I just want to add that extra twist of making that for a strong drink. I prefer stronger drinks in the winter. But you could put ginger ale, lemonade, you know, tonic water, any kind of mixer like that works in here. But steer away from fruit juice because it's just going to curdle and be pretty disgusting. So in with the fruit there, top up, and just it's my age, you believe me. It's worth a go drinking it neat and just see what you think to it. Yeah, yeah, to me that's a pinch. You know. Perhaps it could do with a touch of fizz of some sort. But yeah, you know, on a cold winter's Monday morning. <laughs> Which is what I'm doing with this. Great job getting drunk and sorry. But yeah, so uh, that's worked that's worked a treat. And I uh, you know, I'll try it alongside some shop bought pins. Do you know this is nicer? There's something fresher, there's something nicer. Fair enough, this is supermarket brand pims, so it's cheap pims, but that works really well. And actually, that the lavender uh, being in there just helps to infuse an extra little hint of another flavour there. This fresh lavender picked from the garden. Uh, you can hunt around for it in the winter and you should be able to find some. Have a look right next to walls and sort of buried away, but. Yeah, there you go. Summer cup in the middle of the winter. That's how it's made. Jobs are good. Un'.